Testing, testing. There we go. That should be good. Finally. Got a smooth stream. Got good sound. Is the music too loud? Is it good? Yeah, long time no see, Canvit. Uh, Parker, sorry I didn't see you sleep in there. It's good to see you. Time to party. That's exactly right. We're going to see what we got in this sucker. Lloyd, what's going on, my friend? We're doing a PSA unboxing today. So uh, I should probably zoom the camera in to do this. There we go. Okay, so I got three boxes here. Joey's here for the giveaway. <laughs> Boom boy back in the business, ain't it? It is nice to be back in the business. I think that's what you're saying. Yes. My voice could come up a little, he says. There we go. That might be better. Let's see if I can get myself closer to this mic. I can also turn the desktop music down. That'd be a lot better for you guys, I'm sure. Big Harv. Uh, yeah, I said uh, go ahead and email me your address. That would be awesome. And then uh, we'll go from there. But let's start getting into this thing. 51 cards. I'm excited to see what we've got here, what my grades are like. Activate that boom machine. Well, we can only hope for some big tens in this one, huh? I don't really run a boom machine. I run a Sheboygan machine. <laughs> I've, I've told this story a lot about why I use that term Sheboygan, but it's just a buddy of mine. Ooh, there was uh, Ronald Acuna right on top. Uh, a buddy of mine, his uh, kid used to say Sheboygan all the time. When he was excited about something, he'd just be like, Sheboygan. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing because he was like a five, five-year-old five kid. So, All right, let's crack into this sucker because we already saw the top card. That's going to be a Ronald Acuna Jr. bats down from Topps Holiday. 2018 Holiday. That's a nice card right there. I wish it was the uh, bats down from, uh, was it Series 2? That one's sweet. All right, next card. Nick Senzel, touching cap. That's going to be a PSA 10. We'll make our two stacks here, PSA 10, PSA 9, PSA 8, and lower. Nick Senzel from 2019 Update, touching his cap. That one's pretty sweet. <laughs> Jump Omega Deluxe Boom Machine. <laughs> Next one is a Pete Alonzo rookie card. Nice. I think I sent a couple of these in. So I'm glad I got a 10 on at least one of them. 2019 Tops Pete Alonzo. And behind it is another one, but this one's chrome. Sweet. All right. So this is a uh, Pete Alonzo chrome. Gem Mint 10 from 2019. Man, that is such a shiny, nice-looking card, isn't it? I really like that. I did get another one graded, and it's out. Okay, here's a Topps Chrome. Pete Alonzo. This one only got a 9, though. A 9. Must be centering, because it does look a little wonky compared to the other one. Just a little bit off. That's not bad. I'll take a nine. That's a first nine. All right, here we go. We've got Causes cards up next. Here is a twenty uh, or 1950 Bowman Billy DeMars without copyright. And it is a PSA 2. I'm going to have to, like, close these or cover these so you don't see them. There's a copyright mark on the back of one of the cards and a non-copyright on the other. And the non-copyright, I actually think, is the rarer one. I was looking it up, and this is a rarer one than the copyright. Could be wrong about that. It's been several months since I looked it up, and that was before I had gotten my tail into rehab. So, All right. Second one for cause is an Eddie Yost. Chat Town, what's up? Good to see you, buddy. Welcome. 
Oh, Parker, I wanted to say also congratulations on the child. Hope that's going well. Uh, new kids are always exhausting. 1952, Eddie Yost. Let's see what grade we got. Oh, very good 3.5. So it's better than the, uh, the other one that we had, the 1950 Bowman. So that's going to be a 3.5 on that Eddie Yost. That's going up, cause That's good. All right, then he sent a Don Larson in as well. So we'll check what our Don Larson got. Very good four. So they just got better and better, cause as we went through them. There's a Don Larson. Very nice. Very good four. All right, next one is Ronald Acuna Jr. Tops update. The bats up in the blue jersey version. That one got a gem mint 10. I'm very happy about that. That's a nice return right there. I still haven't pulled the bat down Acuna for myself. I pulled it for Isaac. If you guys were here for that one, that was awesome. But uh, no, here we go. Why hide the number? What does that have to do with it? Oh. <laughs> South of the border. Good to see you, man. Oh, good to hear, Parker. I'm glad. I'm glad. The bat is in a different position for that Alonzo. You talking about the 9 versus the 10? Let's look at him. It is a little bit, isn't it? Well, maybe not. I, it, it looks a little... You're right. One looks a little different than the other. Looks like it's tilted more towards his head. So th this one is the correct one, and this one is the, the one that's not supposed to be that way. Interesting. South of the border. Glad you're here, my friend. Glad you're here. All right. The next one is a Derek Jeter. This is going to be from 1992 Upper Deck Minor League. We've got a mint nine on this one. That's all right. I pulled this out of a Dave Durango break that we did. I was pretty excited because I hadn't pulled this card before. So very nice, very nice card right there. It's a nine. I'll take a nine. It's pretty hard to get a 10 in. So yeah, no problem, cause I'll uh, go ahead and send these out uh, tonight. Well, I'll get everything packed tonight. They'll go out in the morning. So uh, I was going to do it this weekend, like I said, but I got busy doing other things with the house and I just didn't send stuff out. And now I can send it to, to you because I was waiting for your package to arrive anyway. So we'll get all the uh, Bowman giveaways that I had and we'll have the, uh, the cards for cause going out. Go ahead and email your email me your address again, cause so that I have it. That'd be awesome. All right, next we're in a Charlie Blackman Blue Refractor. This is kind of a risky card to send in because if you don't get a 10, it's really not worth it. However, this is in my PC. I've been uh, doing kind of a Charlie Blackman rainbow from not the same card, but uh, I just like, I love Charlie Blackman. He goes into my PC. And I'll take a nine on that. I'm happy about it. All right, next one is a Ronald Acuna Jr. Relic card. It's Tops Update. These ones are very tough to get a 10 in also. All-Star Stitches Relic. A mint nine right there. That's a beauty. Not sure why it got just a nine, because it looked so crisp when I sent it in. But they are tough to get a ten on anytime you send a relic in. So a nine, I'll take that any day of the week. But nines are starting to catch up. All right, a ninety-three Derek Jeter, 1992 draft pick. This one I also got from a break of Dave Durango's, which was pretty cool. Uh, the disappointing part is that this is a seven. Wah, wah, wah. This is probably even tougher to get a 10 in than uh, you know most of the other cards we've pulled so far. But uh, I don't know. The corners look pretty good. Maybe a little soft down here. It's probably one of them. A little soft there. And not really great centering. There's quite a bit of border on the top. I knew I wasn't going to get a 10 on it, but it came back a 7. That's okay. 1988 score, Tom Glavin, rookie prospect. Got me a nine on this sucker. 
That's not a bad card at all. I'll take that any day of the week. This is a very tough card to get a 10 in. A lot of real estate on there, and it uh, seems like a lot of blank real estate, so easy to mess up. So that's a 9. All right, 9s have caught up to the 10s. Oh, no. Fingers crossed. All right, here we go. We got a Nolan Arenado Gem Mint 10. This is from 2019 Topps Grove chrome a blue waiver fracker beautiful card i i just love this card i'm super stoked i got a tan on it it's numbered to 75 shaboygan i'll take that any day of the week tens are in the lead again all right next we have a vladimir guerrero jr this is a shaboygan my friends this is a huge shaboygan a vladimir guerrero green wave refractor numbered to 99 Oops. Number to 99 there. Came back at 10. Woo! I am happy with that. This was actually the first big card I ever pulled. And I pulled this from Striker Breaks. Striker pulled me that card on the first break I ever bought into on his channel. Uh, in fact, that was probably the first break I had ever bought into because I bought into Strikers first. So, uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Green Wave Refractor. This is what got me hooked on the hobby right there. Sheboygan. Hey, what's up, Jason Madison? Yes, right. That's right, Sheboygan. Next, we've got an Austin Riley 2019 Topps Chrome Update Gold Refractor, PSA 10. Woo! That is a pretty card right there. Gold Refractor, that one's going to be numbered to 50. Good low numbering. I needed that from an Austin Riley because it's kind of on the border of whether you should send in or not, but that's uh, that's sick. Nice little Austin Riley right there. Next, we got an Eloy Jimenez from 2019 Topps Chrome. That's going to be a Gem Mint 10 as well. I really like when the Chrome cards come back at 10 because they're just such pretty cards. Chrome has definitely been uh, my favorite product from Topps, and they did fantastic. In fact, I ordered a jumbo box of 2019 Topps Chrome. What's up, Tom T? Good to see you, man. Welcome. Um... So, yeah, I ordered a box of uh, Jumbo, 2019 Jumbo from Topps Chrome. Kind of excited about that. I also ordered a 2019 Museum Collection box and a 2019... Uh-oh. Uh, something else. <laughs> I can't believe I... Gypsy Queen, not a 2019, a 2020 Gypsy Queen hobby box. Really like Gypsy Queen this year, and I haven't opened a hobby box, so I was like, hey, let's do it. Especially because my Walmart's completely out of product. Mainly, that's my fault. I keep going and buying all the product. So, um, they have no product. I wanted to get some, so I got some off of blowout cards. Next one is a 1986 Leaf. Andres Galarraga, near mint 8. Rated rookie. I was hoping for a 9 or better, but hey, I'll take an 8. These older cards are always tough to get uh, a good grade on. I believe I've had this card around a while, so um, I'm excited about that one. Next, we have another Ronald Acuna Jr. This is from 2019 Topps Gold Label, Class 3 Blue. That's going to be a Gem Mint 10. Shaboygan. Ronald Acuna Jr. Love that. El Gato Grande. I think he said Grande in Spanish. In Portuguese, it's Grande. El Gato Grande. <laughs> the big cat. That's right. Andres, I always loved because he was a, a Rocky and, man, he hit a home run. Where was it? Florida or something? No, that was at Mile High Stadium here in Colorado. He hit a home run that went up into the third deck. It was awesome. Ronald Acuna Jr., blue. That's going to be numbered to 50 as well. That's a very nice card right there, Gem Mint 10. That's our first box. So in our first box, 10s are about double the 9s. They caught back up. We were tied there for a minute. And then we got an 8 and a 7. Ugh. And then we went uh, with with uh, Causes cards, which we knew weren't going to get good grades coming, but they're such cool old cards. If you didn't see them, I'll pull them up again. There's Don Larson. What's up, Henry? Welcome. Henry's Dessert Deals. I'll take some dessert right now. Oof. I had this legit dessert while i was out in california this one guy he would cook every night like crazy desserts out of just what we had there like cereal and 
and he could make cheesecake out of almost anything. And man, I kind of miss that. They were so good. They were always, always little bites too, so it wasn't like a huge slice of whatever. But they had peanut butter cheesecake, all sorts of different cheesecakes. Stemmer's hits. What's going on, man? Welcome, Stemmer's. I said hi to you the other night in somebody's channel, and you didn't respond, and I felt so sad. Box number two in our PSA, but then I just figured you didn't see it. That was okay. I know it's been too long, my friend. Been way too long. Uh, I'm glad to be back. Glad to be streaming. Card number one on this PSA or on box two of this PSA return. Oh, nope, these are backwards, so I gotta flip them. Nice haircut, I know, I, uh, I really let it out today, like a Tom Brady quaff. You can say all you want about against Tom Brady, but the dude uh, is a legit football player. He has a phenomenally hot wife, and the dude looks good no matter what he does. He wears Ugg boots and he looks good, it's crazy. All right, card number one. This is going to be a Juan Soto rookie debut, a mint nine. I was hoping for a nicer hit on that uh, Juan Soto rookie, especially on a rookie debut card. It's really uh, on the verge of being worth it. So a nine, I'll take a nine. Um, it's eight or lower that I wouldn't like on that. Next, we're going to get into a little Pokemon. It's a Dedenne. This is from Unbroken Bonds. I'm going to have to move this a little bit. It's from Unbroken Bonds, a Gem Mint 10. Very nice card right there. I'll take that any day. The Dene sells for a little bit. It's probably a $50 card now. That's PSA 10, so that's cool. Jason, what's the, words, what's the word besides Sheboygan? The word is all is good, my friend. So it's multiple words, but uh, Sheboygmo? I don't know. Or Sheboygai, which is the plural of Sheboygan boy guy all right here's a todd helton oh this came back an excellent five wow that is bad that's not what i was hoping for at all and it looks really nice i would love to know why this got a five but i haven't compared it with other cards uh, of todd helton's from team usa uh, excellent five that's not good at all that goes on the very end. Wah, 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 wah. Next one is a Babe Ruth 2019 Leaf Metal Black. This one got a 9 as well. It's a lot of shiny surface on this one. If you guys remember this unboxing, um, it was brutal because I had a card at the very bottom. I'll show it to you. This was the card I got at the very bottom. Is this working now? What just happened? Test, test. Okay, it's going. Um, so this is the card that was on the very bottom of that stack. It's a cool card, but if you look at the the front of it, it was scratched to all hell. See the scratches there on the side? There's some scratches there. Little nicks and stuff. So it just was beat up when I got the card, and I was a little disappointed about that. And I contacted Leaf and said that I had a video of me doing this, and I would like them to do something about it. And they had responded, okay. And then they just never responded again. They never sent me any, like, form or told me to send the card back in or what to do. So, anyways, that I knew wasn't going to get a 10. This one was going to be tough also just because, it's, you know, it's shiny. Um, and a lot of uh, chrome surface on it. But, hey, I'll take a 9, mint 9 on a... Babe Ruth Black. It's a pretty cool card. All right, now we're going to get into some of my Nolan Arenados. I knew that one of these was going to be really bad, but I sent in two because I, uh, I wanted to see what the grading was going to be. So this one came back an excellent five, which isn't great, but that's okay. Like I said, I sent in two, and uh, hopefully the other one is nicer. We'll put that in the five pile. Here we go. Pete Alonzo, Bowman Platinum. That's going to be a Gem Mint 10. Sweet. Pete Alonzo coming through for me. Gem Mint 10 on that Bowman Platinum. Very nice card. Bowman not nearly as uh, valuable as the top uh, uh, Series 1, Series 2, and Update Series. Here's 2019 Update Pete Alonzo Gold home run derby card that came back a near mint eight 
I was really hoping for something nicer on that as well. But I can tell that the edge on the top isn't fantastic. An eight. How many does that uh, gives us two eights? All right, now we're gonna come to a Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow 2010 score. That's gonna be a gem mint 10 right there. Woo! Something I'd say when I pull fire. Uh, noise. I don't know. That's uh, one of the ones that I use. I'm glad that came back a gem mint 10 because that definitely isn't really worth much at all, especially if it's a nine or a lower. Uh, let's see. Nine, uh, Sheboygan. Boom. I know that boom is what everybody uses, and that's kind of why I wanted to get away from it. I didn't want to steal somebody's boom. Uh, Henry says, Elkanon, I bought a 2010 Bowman Crow Joe Adele Prospects as the title and the card slab inside is a Fernando Tatis Jr. <laughs> Seriously? How does that happen? I've often wondered if people just fake these cases sometimes and put something else inside, but that, that's, that's crazy. Holy shnikes. Yeah, that's a good one. Holy shnikes. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> I like that one too. This is Tim Tebow's first Bowman. Came back as a Gen Mint 10. 2019 Bowman Chrome. That's a shiny card. That's a nice grade. I'll take 10s till the cows come home. Especially if Tim Tebow. Sure, boy. Here we go. Walker Bueller. That's going to be a Gen Mint 9. Or not a Gen Mint. A Mint 9. 2018 Tops Walker Bueller rookie card. Uh, nine's okay on that. I've got a few more of these to send in, so I'll try again for my 10. Here we go. We've got the Holiday, 2018 Holiday of Walker Bueller. That's going to come back a Gen Mint 10. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Boom! Shakalaka. <laughs> I like that one. Here we go. 2018 Tops Holiday Shohei Otani. That's going to be a 10. Good thing, because that's not worth a whole lot if it's not a 10. But I'll take the 10. Ooh, and then we've got Shohei Otani pitching. That's going to be his original rookie card. That's a Gem Mint 10 from Tops. Love it. Good card out of Series 2. Shohei Otani got me a 10. Now we got another Vladdy coming up. Al Chingazoo. <laughs> you could say Al Chingazoo. That's what in Spanish. What does that mean? Sheboygan, I'm assuming. He's on fire. Thank you, man. I checked the PSA registry and it comes back as a Joe Adele. So somebody had to have cracked the case. No, no, no. It had to have been a switching of the the labeling. But still, how do you crack the case? Unless it wasn't sealed properly. That's wild. I don't know how that happens. Because I've watched videos of cracking these cases. And they're not easy to do. I mean, you're going to destroy the case every time. Unless uh, maybe they ruin the card inside as well and heat treat. I don't know how you get into it. So this is a 28 or 2019 Bowman Platinum Vladdy Jr. Bowman Platinum rookie card. PSA 10. Nice. This is out, out of one of the first products I bought when I started getting back into collecting. There we go. 2019 Topps Chrome Fernando Tatis Jr. in a PSA 10. Shaboygan! Love that card. Anytime I can get a Tatis in a 10, I am happy. Tatis, man, he's the one I'm I'm the hottest on from that rookie class. I really like Tatis, and I think he's going to go a long way. As long as he doesn't get injured. Uh, 2019 Bowman Platinum Fernando Tatis Jr. 9. And I can already tell why. The top edge there is kind of just not cut well. So, yep. That makes sense. I should have noticed that before I sent it in. But, you know, I was going through a lot of cards and kind of giving them a once-over. I've gotten better at my grading, I'm going to be honest. I've gotten better, but not phenomenally better. More like Tentus. <laughs> What's up, Apex? Good to see you, man. Your Tatis Chrome is miscut. Oh, man. Void start. What it do, baby? Good to see you. Isaac, good to see you, man. Welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate all you guys being here. I got 14 viewers, man. I'm cranking the viewers out. Appreciate you guys. 2019 Tops Heritage, Fernando Tatis Jr., a 9 on the Heritage. Boy, I've only had one Tatis 10, right? Is that it? 
One Tatis, 10. Ugh. I'm looking to move a PSA 10 recent rookie, just checking on pricing. What's the rookie? Let us know what card it is. All right, here's a Bowman. And again, Pete Alonzo comes through with the 10. Thank you, Pete Alonzo. Shaboygmo, this is from 2019 Bowman Chrome. A gem mint 10. That's a nice card. I really like that card. That's his rookie out of Bowman Chrome. And that's going in the 10 pile. Boy, our 10 pile's stacking up. I like it. Oh, this card is a Sheboygan Boom Shakalaka. Yum diddly diddy dim dow. I don't know. Jaffa, what's up, my friend? Yeah, I finally got him back. This is 2019 Pokemon Sun and Moon, Reshiram, and Charizard GX Gem Mint 10 from Unbroken Bonds. Sheboygan. Love that. Uh, I needed this 10 to complete my set of Unbroken Bonds PSA 10 cards. I'll show you what I got. Here are my other two. I've got the Reshiram and Charizard um, Secret Rare, or Rainbow Rare, people call it. And also the uh, regular uh, Reshiram, Reshiram and Charizard from Unbroken Bonds, and then the Full Art from Unbroken Bonds. So look at that. All three in a Gem Mint 10. Beautiful. Very, very difficult to pull PSA 10s, or to pull even an Unbroken Bonds Charizard. I mean, Unbroken Bonds, I opened so many packs. And I did get two of those Charizards. Um, and the last one I got on this when I sent it in, because I did pull this before, was an 8. And so I was trying to get a 10, sent it back in, or sent a different one in, and boom, got me a 10. Stoked on that one. That is a boom. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with the chat. It's starting to go kind of quick. Looks like a 30 on a bad day, 50 on a good day for an Eloy Tops Chrome. Yeah, so if any of you guys want an Eloy Tops Chrome PSA 10, hit up Void Start. He's got the Eloy uh, Tops Chrome PSA 10. That's nice. Here's a Juan Soto from 2018 Tops Update. Batting. Another Soto letdown. I was hoping for a 10. Got an 8.5. Hmm, not sure why. And I don't know why I put the qualifiers in on this one so that I had point grades. But, hey, whatever. I'll put it in the... Uh, I don't know where to put it. It's in between the 8 and the, and the 9. <laughs> I'll put it in the 8 pile. Why not? You can't round up, can you? Yeah, the Reshiram Trio, uh, Reshiram trio is awesome. Reshiram and Charizard. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a grading video on what to look for. That's a good idea because I actually went through... I've got this little... This little uh, uh, jeweler's loop that I go and look at a lot of the cards with, especially if they're high value cards. But if they're cards that are like, you know, 20 bucks raw, maybe a little bit more, then I'll uh, I usually just kind of once over and, and get a decent look. But yeah, I, I had a lot of tens come back in this one. Uh, two fives, a seven, we'll say three eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten nines. All right, box number three this is the last box. Still need to get a Soto, Lloyd said. Yeah, I was excited about uh, pulling all these Sotos, but none of them have come back in awesome grades, so that's been a little disappointing. Maybe I'll just keep them like this. That's probably a better way to do it, and then flip them. Hmm? All right. Here we go. First one. This is about, uh, or this is a uh, Babe Ruth medal collection with the bat relic inside, or not the bat relic. I'm sorry. This is the stadium seat relic, and this one got an eight. Yeah, I knew these ones were going to be tough. I knew they were going to be tough, um, but I was hoping for better than an eight on this guy. That's okay. Anytime that you have a relic card, they're tough to grade, especially with all that chrome on it. It's really shiny. Looks like we got another Pokemon coming for, or coming next. <clears throat> have you seen those graders on ebay that help you check centering no i haven't i didn't know they had those uh actually i think i saw one for the first time the other day it's like a little card kind of thing that comes in a little and, and it's like the grade master or something like that so i think i did see it psa stands for please send again <laughs> i just got that 
which is funny. People crack and resend all the time. And I didn't resend this one. This was a different card that I pulled. I can prove it to you. Here's the 8 that I pulled. And here's the 10. So, yeah. Uh, the, this is always a great way to compare to see what... Okay, what is it that I missed on the first round? And you can tell that the centering's a little off on this one because it's pushed up a little bit. Um... You can always ch I check the bottoms of these tag team cards because if that yellow thing fits in there perfectly then it's a gonna be a 10 if not you can tell this one's pushed up just a little bit so centering was probably one of the reasons Let's look at the backs I don't know they look fine to me so I'm not sure what the other reason is because uh, centering should only be a point especially when it's not terrible centering like that one wasn't that bad probably get a five on it i want to get my first gen pikachu error card from japan graded but it's not in great shape yeah still having it slab that's pretty sweet you know it's not going to get any more damaged and you've got it in a protective slab so that's something nice i sent a few more pokemon these ones i got as a uh, a mail day um somebody sent me these cards now i wish that i could remember all everybody that sent me cards I've had a lot of cards come in, and I did a lot of videos about them. I was like, great, I can always just check the video. But that was kind of a messed up thing to do. Uh, I should have been writing these names down and been like, you know, send them an uh, individual thank you. Uh, so I don't remember who sent me these cards. They were from the Pokemon movie. Plus, I, like I said, I was not uh, in great shape when I was streaming before. But guys, I am... 50 days sober, I believe. 50 days sober, I think. So coming up on two months, I'm pretty excited about that. Nice, look at that. SM, this is a Black Star promo from Hidden Fates Tins. That's going to be a PSA 10. I tried for this one before, and I think I... Oh, maybe I didn't. I don't think I've sent this one in before. Yeah, I don't have anything over there. Maybe I sent it in and sold one. But anyways, PSA 10 came back. I'll take that any day of the week. This is, really isn't that valuable of a Charizard card since it's one of the promos. Uh, I would say in PSA 10, you're getting $40, $50 out of it. Uh, this one, on the other hand, this is probably $150 to $200, somewhere in that range. And the uh, full art, this one is probably around $250 to $350, somewhere in that range. Maybe even more than that. It started to go up again, and then they came back down. There's such a fluctuation in the market. If you guys haven't noticed, the card market is a lot like the stock market. There's big ebbs and flows in it, and you got to make sure to check like what the best time is to sell, or at least when it's on the way up. You don't want to sell at the very bottom like I did last couple weeks. <laughs> it kind of bottomed out on a few of them. Yeah, it's a nice shiny Charizard. I like that one. This is going to be a full art Jesse and James from Hidden Fates. Now, you guys probably remember my unboxings from Hidden Fates before. I've sold almost all my Hidden Fates because they came back PSA 10. So these are all the other ones that I had that I'm sending back in to try and complete the collection. Uh, I shouldn't have sold some of them, but hey, I was tied on cash. Wanted to get some other baseball cards. No, I didn't get the Ted Williams graded. Uh, sorry, man. I, I just didn't want to crack it out of that case. It's nice in that one touch and... Sending it in, I don't want to risk getting like a 9 or something on it, especially since it's a cut auto and a bat relic. There's a lot of error, uh, margin for error, and it's a 3 of 5. I might as well just sell it the way it is because if it comes back lower than that, it's not going to help the value at all. All right, here's the ones that I got uh, as gifts. There's three of them here. So it's from the 1999 Pokemon game, the movie promo card of Electabuzz, a PSA 9. Now, for these cards from being from 1999, to get a 9 in that, I am stoked. I mean, that is shaboygan. If I could get 9s on all of these, I'd be happy. Uh, I'd love it if I got a 10, because that, that'd be even more legit. But look at that. It's even got the, the promo stamp there. Very nice card. That's the Electabuzz. What's the matter, Gunner? Is it rough being you? 1999 Pokemon game Dragonite movie promo. PSA 9. I'll take that. Hey, like I said, if I could get 9s on all of these, I'd be excited. 
I'd be ecstatic. That's another Sheboygan. All right. 1999 Pokemon game Mewtwo movie promo. That one's coming back at Mint 9 as well. Nice. So I got three nines on these, and I do have the fourth one. Uh, but the fourth one is a Pikachu. It's still in the packaging, and I really don't want to open it because it's been in that packaging since 1999. And I think it might be more valuable in the packaging than outside of it. I'm not really positive, but uh, I'm just not going to take it out. I could grade it, but if I had it, all three of those were 10s, then I'd probably send that one into grade and see if I could get a full set of 10s. However, doesn't didn't happen. Not going to happen. All right, this is a Lamar Jackson, a rookie wave. This is from, what, Panini Playoff Football. Rookie wave card. Nice, Gem Mint 10. Lamar Jackson, rookie wave. That's the first football card, I think. Oh, no, we had that Tim Tebow one that was in there also, but... Uh, that's a 2018 Panini Playoff Lamar Jackson Rookie Wave Gem Mint 10. I'll take that any day of the week, man. All right, this is a Charlie Blackman card, number to 25, that Urban, Chris Urban sent to me. Uh, big shout out to Urban. I really appreciate this. This was just a gift out of the goodness of his heart. I went ahead and got it graded because, like I said, I love Charlie Blackman. And a 10. Sweet. Such a cool looking card, isn't it? Tops Chrome Orange Refractor, and man, it is just so cool looking. Love that thing, and I'm so glad it came back a 10. Like I said, Charlie Blackman, if he's not a 10, you know, it's really not worth that much. Um, I'm not doing this one for the value, though, at all. It's just for the fact that it's uh, Charlie Blackman, and he's part of my PC. Him and Arenado are kind of the two big ones that I collect from the Rockies. Uh, and Todd Helton. I will collect a lot of Todd Helton if I can, but uh, I've been doing Arenado rookies. Uh, Tulowitzki, I thought at first was going to be it, but then he uh, abandoned us and took off for stinking Toronto. Ooh. <laughs> Charlie Blackman. Love it. Shaboygan. All right, here's another Nolan Arenado. This is from Top's Finest. That's going to be a Mint 9. 2013 Nolan Arenado. I got this one off eBay and uh, just took a pretty good look at the pictures on there and thought, man, that's that could be a, a 9 or a 10. And went ahead and bought it, and sure enough, came back a 9. So I'm really happy with that. The 9s are starting to catch up with the 10s, though. That's a little unfortunate. We were on a 10 run there for a while, but let's check out what our last one is. It's the Nolan Arenado rookie. Uh, it's the same one from this. So this is from Bowman. Oh, and that's going to be a mint nine. Sweet. So the first one was a five of the two fives I got. One was Todd Hilton. The other was Nolan Arenado. And this one came back a mint nine. Uh, Nolan Arenado rookie card. Very cool. All right. Now I'm going to go through my next PSA order. So the next PSA order is going to go out. Now, I'm not sure. I need you guys' advice on this, and that's why I'm asking it. Yeah, Tulo Rookie would be cool, but I, I'm a little bitter towards Tulo. So uh, this next one, I don't know if I should send the uh, the entire uh, submission to PSA or if I should send it to SGC. So I'm trying to decide between the two. PSA has gone up in value or up in price, I mean, um, but the value is kind of fluctuated all over the market. I'm going to go through these ones a little quicker so we don't have to just sit here all the time. I'm a Jays fan, so I love Tulo. Hey, man, I loved Tulo when he was on my team, and then when he went to the Jays, he just kind of went a little bitterly, and it wasn't good. Now, I blame ownership for most of that, but Tulo didn't handle himself very well either. I don't hate the guy. I just, uh, you know, he kind of went off of my super collection list. All right, so here I've got a Brendan Rodgers Optic. That's going to be numbered to 99. That's an autograph. That's a cool card. That's going in. Here's Nolan Arenado's rookie uh, from Tops. This is going to be uh, the sky blue parallel. They have like an emerald, sky blue, a red, a gold, and I'm trying to get all of those. And then obviously the white base. Um, 
here's a nice Vladdy that I got. This is uh, going to be from 2020 Gypsy Queen. As you can see, it's the logo swap plus it's numbered to 99. Very nice card. Good auto right there. I'm excited about that one. Here's Blue Jays, Vladimir Guerrero, uh, the 85 or 84 design. Uh, this is an insert. Love War design is probably one of my favorite throwbacks of any set. Um, I got this one, and I got the, the big box topper of it, but uh, the box topper I'm not really interested in getting graded because it's not in good shape. Here's uh, Vladdy from Topps Chrome, and I've got three of those suckers. No, wait. One from Topps Chrome and two just from, uh, what is the series? Update series, right. His rookie from Update series. Two of those going in. And I've got two more parallels, the Prism Refractor and the pink parallel so those uh if they come back tens those are going up in value too here i've got a nice zion williams rookie uh rated rookie from optic i'm excited to see what that one comes back as Ja morant and Ja morant in the house uh insert and then his rated rookie here we got a nice Bo bichette that's going to be a uh short print from what uh series one yep series one short print there's another short print of his that's a little bit more expensive than that one but that one's pretty cool i have a charlie blackman 2018 clearly authentic to 25 or 50 can't remember you can have if you don't have it yet jaffa that is way too kind of you don't need to give it to me we can work out a deal i can send you something but i would like to put that in my collection that'd be sweet is it autographed because i think i have I only have one Blackman autograph. I mean, yeah, I think I do have a Blackman autograph. Here's a Prismatic Prodigies from Bowman Platinum. Uh, Bo Bichette. Do you think I should send this one in or not? It's an insert card. It doesn't have Rookie on it. That one's a maybe. Here's an Austin Meadows that I pulled from Gypsy Queen. I believe that's the Bazooka back. One of 25. That one was a pretty cool pull. Pulled that one by myself in the dark. Here is a Mike Yastrzemski, Bowman, or a Topps Chrome. Nice sticker auto. And Kikuchi. This is going to be from Topps Chrome Sapphire. Number to 10. On-card auto. Purple. Really like that one. Oops. I just set those there. All right. Cool, Jaffa. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, here is a Juan Soto. Rookie Chrome. Now, looking at this, I can see that the top doesn't look like it's cut perfectly. And I don't know. That's a maybe. But it is a Topps Chrome. It is a nice card. Acuna, number to 99 out of 2020. Uh, Gypsy Queen. And this is going to be the Tarot card? Yeah, Tarot the Diamond. Josh Jung from Bowman's Best. Another Josh Jung from Bowman's Best. Both of those going in. Icky Woods. This is a uh, card I was sending in for a buddy of mine. Here we have a couple of Kyler Murrays. The rated rookie from Optic and the rookie card from what is the Absolute Football. So we'll see what we get on those. A couple more Pokemon that I have to send in. Yes, Papa Rance. That's the one that uh, I'm, I got graded for you. So, Or I'm getting graded for you. I thought it was in the other submission, but it's in this one. So is that icky woods that icky woods was also uh, one of your cards uh Requeza decidui that one looks nice decidui uh lunala i'm reconsidering sending this one in i went and checked the values the other day and it's gone down so much but um Here's the Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. That's such a cool-looking card that I have to send it in and see if I can get another 10. It sells really well, too. And then the Reshram uh, GX uh, Ultra Shiny. Here's a Michael Kopech from Tops 5 Star to 50. 11 of 50. It's going to be an on-card auto there. Beautiful. Devin Singletary and another Devin Singletary. Both rookie cards, both from Absolute. We'll send two in and see if we can get, uh, you know, at least 110. Another single Terry. This one's going to be uh, from Donruss, though. Rated rookie. I really like single Terry. I'm hot on him. 
Yeah, they're called stained glass, actually. It's called the stained glass uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno promo card. All right, here's a Jordan Alvarez Tarot. A Jordan Alvarez, just regular rookie from Gypsy Queen. J.D. Blade's first Bowman. That's Bowman paper, I think, not chrome. Yeah. Um, a Victor Victor Mesa. Uh, these are like on the fence of whether I should send in or not. The Austin Riley 84 design, I really like it. Still on the fence of whether I should send in. Probably pull that one out actually and set it aside. I'm really not sure. I'll have to go and check values on it and then give the the card a real nice look at. Shohei Otani San. That's going to be a, a short print from what series one. I believe that's 2020 though, not a rookie. But it's a nice card. A couple of Yazes from Bowman this year. Or uh, Jordan Alvarez, sorry, not Yaz. Jordans from Bowman. Then we've got a Dustin May. That one's iffy of whether I should send in too. Dustin May, Nico Horner, Bo Bichette, Jordan Alvarez, Aquino, and Lewis Robert, and Gavin Lux. So all the rookies from Bowman I'm sending in. These are all the paper. Um, but I'm sending one of each in because I'd like to have all of those in a PSA 10. I've started to become more of a rookie collector. I really like collecting rookie cars. There's a lot of value in them. They're a good investment, um, and it's a lot of fun. Luis Robert, or is it Luis Robert? I've heard that two different ways now as well. This is the camo parallel, so see what we can get on that. Ramon Laureano from Topps 5 Star on card auto. Just a nice card. Oh, check this one out. Jason Dominguez. So I got a couple going in. The Jason Dominguez Chrome. And then in my first uh, value pack of Bowman, 2020 Bowman, I pulled this. 13 of 50. So it's the gold border Jason Dominguez. Love that card. That was my biggest hit from Bowman. A Sheboygan for sure. Here we go. I got another Reshram and Charizard I'm sending in. Uh, this one will be just for sale since the other one uh, I have in my collection now. So hopefully it comes back a 10 and I can get some money out of it. Charizard and Brixen. Uh, this one is from Cosmic Eclipse, I believe. And uh, not a whole lot of value there, but I'm excited to see if it comes back a 10. Because anytime a Charizard's in a 10, you're looking at a lot of money. Now check this one out. I pulled this the other day. Gavin Lux. All right, I hope it's a PSA 10. Beautiful card, but it's the SSP from uh, Series 1. Really, really nice card. I was super stoked on that one. Uh, the last one, I think, sold for 1200 in PSA 10, so that would be a really nice one to get a PSA 10 in. This is an Aaron Judge from uh, 2019 Heritage. This is, I think, called the Silver Metal. I've tried to look up comps on eBay, and I have not found one yet. Um, but it's in really good shape. It came out looking really pristine, so I'm going to send that in. Good night. I need to go through these quicker. Vladimir Guerrero, another Vladdy. Then I have, I'm sending this Charizard back in. This one will just be for value since I already pulled it, or I got a 10 on one of them. Cartana and Benet. There's a Shohei Otani rated rookie. Another Shohei Otani, uh, 2019. This is going to be an insert. Shohei uh, from uh, Topps Holiday, 2018 uh, Topps Holiday. And then we get to the Bobby Witts. Okay, so I got a Bobby Witt Jr. here. I don't know if you guys remember we opened this prism. This was a break that we were all in, and uh, I had to fill up some spots myself and ended up getting a bunch of Bobby Witts out of it. So I've got uh, one of the blue parallels, the base, uh, insert, uh, I don't remember what this parallel is called. Is that one numbered? No, it's not numbered. Uh, the red, also not numbered. Uh, this one's like a snake skin or something. I think that's the one that's numbered. What? Uh, one of these was numbered. This one's just a prism. Well, I know one of them's numbered. I just couldn't see it. So, whatever. Ramon Laureano, purple from Topps Chrome. Eloy Jimenez, chrome. Hopefully, I can get another 10. I'm going to try on Walker Bueller again. This one's from Donruss this time. 
There's a Yaz Chrome and a Yaz Paper. Uh, another Yaz from Gallery. Clint Frazier rookie card. That's from 2018 Holiday. Dustin May from Series 1. Alex Bregman rookie card. Uh, I was looking through my uh, 2017 and I found that I had one. And I was like, oh, cool. That should be worth something. Come on, get off there. Uh, Luis Urias. Luis, Luis Urias to 50. This is a Class 2 red. And Jordan from Donruss. All right, thanks, Jaffa. Uh, there's a uh, Manny Machado rookie from Prism. Ozzy Albies rookie. A Vladdy rookie debut. Vladdy home run derby. Uh, Vladdy rookie debut. Vladdy home run derby. Then we got another Vladdy from Bowman's Best. Vladdy Bowman's Best. And then a Pete Alonzo gold. Uh, we sent one gold in before. That was the home run derby. This one's the all-star game. See what we get. And then a rookie debut on this one. Alonzo's been good to us in the tens department. All right, see you, Lloyd. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Thanks so much. Glaber Torres, uh, rookie. Another Glaber Torres rookie. But this one's from Holiday. Keston Hero rookie. Paper. Keston Hero rookie from Holiday, 2019 Holiday. Another Keston Hero paper. Here's a Dakota Hudson that's not a Dakota Hudson. Rookie card. So I wanted to get that error graded. Sal Galeo, rookie. Another uh, die cut Vladdy from Bowman's Best. And a Neophyte, the uh, insert from Bowman's Best. I got more inserts from Bowman's Best for Vladdy. The Power Producers. Uh, then one of these is a refractor. Yep, the back one's a refractor on his rookie cards from Bowman Best. So we'll see what we get on those. Vladdy's rookie from Series 2. A Tatis rookie debut. Another Tatis chrome. We already got a 10 on that, so hopefully we can get another 10. Here's a second one of the Rush Ram and Charizard. If I get a 10 on this, I'll sell it. Here's a Nolan Ryan going in and a Nico Horner. Nico Horner, both of them are blue from 2020 Heritage. Uh, 2020 Heritage is difficult to grade. It is difficult to grade. Usually the corners are, are really easily dinged on this, um, but these two looked like they were in pristine shape. Here's another Nico Horner. This is going to be the 80, what design? 85? Yeah, this is the 85 design. Um, that's going to be an on-card auto. Love that one. Not grading the autos on these ones, just sending in the cards. Vince Fernandez. Uh, these are just going to be for my PC, so they're really not cards that I'm looking to get a lot of value out, out of, but they're all autos. A few more Rocky autos. Trevor Story. Uh, Rossell Herrera. Uh, Christian McCaffrey rookie card, or rookie introductions. I was really, I am really hot on Christian McCaffrey. I like that guy a lot. Such a good running back. Probably best in the league right now. Mitch Haniger from Topps Chrome Sapphire. That's number to five. Four of five. Mitch Haniger Purple. It's going to be numbered to 299. And then the Prism Refractor. Or X Fractor. I think that's the X Fractor. There's another JJ Blade uh, Crusade card. Put that one up there. Kawhi Leonard. I think it's numbered to 59. Kawhi Leonard from Optic. Uh, here I've got a Ty Jerome, number 25. Let's see what we get on him. Andrew Luck, I was really bummed about this guy, 22 to 25. Um, so this would have been his last year, uh, so his retirement year. Low number, so I'll send it in. Here's a Tim Anderson, the uh, number to 76. What do they call that, the Independence Day? Nate Lowe, auto from Bowman's Best. We've got a nice Lewis Robert fortune teller card. Never had one of those minis graded, but I'm excited. Nico Horner, uh, Cracked Ice, number to 150. It's an insert. Carter Kaiboom. I can't. I still don't know how to say his name. Kaiboom or Keyboom? Carter Kaiboom. Uh, that's going to be a short print with the Santa hat from 2019. Carter Kaiboom Nationals from uh, Archives. Anthony Rendon, Rookie. Uh, I found this one just sitting in my stuff also, and I was kind of ex excited that I had 
bought cards back then. Michael Chavez, rookie card. All right, last stack, and then we'll be done. Mike Trout, uh, the 84 design from Topps Chrome. Love it. Uh, Mike Trout, this is going to be from Optic. Mike Trout from Diamond Kings, Optic, or Diamond Kings from Optic. And then the Mike Trout rookie card from Bowman. You like that one? Well, it's not really a rookie card. It's just an iconic card from 2019. It's an insert. So, not as cool as the original rookie, but still pretty cool. Uh, Aquino from Gypsy Queen. Here's a Shohei no-name short print. Another Shohei rookie. I have a 10 on that. So, Jordan Alvarez uh, insert. Jordan's rookie. Bo Bichette rookie. Bo Bichette tarot. Gypsy Queen. Another Bo Bichette rookie. Uh, Gavin Lux from Donruss. Gavin Lux from Series 1. Michael Kopeck, Chrome. We've got two of those. They're going to go in. Let's see what those, or three of those, sorry. Uh, we'll be able to compare those side by side when they come back. Lewis Robert, rookie, another Shohei, and another Shohei. So I got a bunch of these rookies going in. These are all just going to be for resale. Here's Austin Riley, uh, Chrome. Austin Riley uh, from Class 1 from Gold Label. Another rookie. There's Austin Riley's rookie debut. Future stars, Austin Riley. That one I don't know if I should send in or not. Austin Riley from uh, 2019 Holiday. And then a couple of Tatis Chromes. Apparently I've got quite a few of those in this stack. Another Tatis Class 1 and Tatis rookie debut. So that's going to be the submission. If I go with PSA, I know it's going to be months and months and months. Um, if I go with SGC, it's going to be a lot cheaper. I'll get the cards back quicker. And what do you guys think? Is SGC becoming more respected or should I still do PSA? I still have um, an account with PSA for another month, I think. So I could still do this before having to re-up on my annual subscription. 250 bucks but uh not sure what to do but anyways thanks for stopping by and joining me on the psa unboxing we got some legit tens tens beat out the nines for sure in fact i think tens beat out everything combined they did by two cards so the psa tens won it by two uh, if you add all, my, all the rest of them up together. So all in all, I would say that this was my first big sports submission. And I would say that it didn't come off as legit as I wanted it to. Um, if you notice my Pokemon submissions, I get majority of them are 10s. I mean, just a huge stack of 10s. So it uh, wasn't as good as I thought. But at the same time, I still got quite a few 10s in here that I can do something with. Some for my, PS, or for, some for my PC and some to sell. Um, and the rest of these uh, depends on what they are, but uh, might keep a couple around and might send a few to get uh, get graded or uh, to to sell on eBay. Um, Rance, I think you had three cards in my submission uh, in this next submission that's coming up: the Yastrzemski, the uh, Icky Woods, and that Juan Soto Chrome. That was yours as well. So uh, now that I have them back, I'm gonna put them on eBay and try and get you some money here soon. Um, no, once I get them back, sorry, no, I don't have them back yet. Once I get them back, then, uh, we'll try and get them sold. I do have the rest of your stack up here and I'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. What's up, Ethan? Good to see you back. Uh, so I got big Harv's address, e Ethan's address. I got Cause's address and who else did I need? Truth. I can get his easily dragon fan, Tim. I probably have his in an email, so let me look through my emails and see if I have it. Uh, but other than that, I think we got everybody. So uh, I'll go ahead and get those packaged up and shipped out. But that's going to do it for today's unboxing. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I love doing unboxings, especially of PSA orders that take six months to come back. Unbelievable. But hey, overall, 
the opening was a Sheboygan. Boom shakalaka. Later, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Peace out.